All right, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I got you guys a special treat. Since Destiny is just about to end, I figured I'd spice it up a bit. As you can see, I'm obviously on Minecraft. Some of you are probably like, what the heck, Rifle? Why are you on Minecraft? What the heck? Well, let me tell you something here, all right? I started on Minecraft on my YouTube channel, so I figured, you know, this would be kind of cool. Destiny, don't get me wrong, made my channel grow the most, but if you guys didn't know, I did start with Minecraft on YouTube. And I thought this would be uh, something interesting. What I'm going to be showing you guys is a Destiny-style raid in Minecraft. Now, it seems like they got a lot of inspiration from Crota's End Raid, as you guys will see. Right now, I'm currently in The Traveler. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, obviously, none of us have been in The Traveler. Let me go ahead and get outside, though, and show you what it looks like. It's pretty cool. And by the way... Oh, no! You can obviously tell I haven't been on Minecraft in a while, but... Yeah, check it out. Pretty cool. They made a spear in the midair. Well, not they. Mac made a spear in midair. This other guy that's in here, as you can see, the people that are in here currently is Mac Bones, which is the creator. And he's on Scarcely Known's account currently because why again, Mac Bones? Um, when I first had the idea for this raid, I didn't currently own Minecraft and uh, I used my friend's account to play on it. Okay, okay. And Literal Rage has been a helper with Redstone in here for him, and a few other things, but... Mac Bones is mainly the creator of this, but it, you know, he did have help, so... Of course, they also take a part <laughs> in this. But anyways, this is the start of the raid right here, at this area, and it's really awesome. He made a lot of teamwork happen within this raid, you guys will see. So you guys are probably like, what the heck, this looks plain outside. Okay, guys, it isn't done yet, alright? <laughs> I'm just giving you a sneak peek of it so far and we're actually going to be um, having like a gameplay video playing all the way through this raid before Destiny 2 once again I thought this oh my gosh I don't want to show you down there no where where once again I just wanted to you know make something different before Destiny 1 ends and I'm going to be playing a Destiny raid in Minecraft I know I know freaking crazy just wait until you see all the mechanics in this it's insane like he made sections in this that felt like they were bosses you you'll see and it takes a lot of teamwork once again you have to have six people just like you know a normal raid and if you don't have all six well you're not going to be able to get through all this so yeah you good to go rifle yeah i'm good hopefully you guys end up enjoying this video once again this is just a special treat i'm not going to continue minecraft unless i continue to see these destiny um style raids in minecraft and i might make these every now and then for you all okay so yeah let's start this off matt all right so for the first part uh, you come over here it's kind of uh a, a niche like first encounter it's not really too intense or anything there's no ads that spawn basically the way it's designed is that you stand on this pressure plate and you're supposed to stay on it the problem is, if you're in survival, there's a magma block that will slowly damage you and kill you. Now, there are cheats away around this, like, you can just crouch and it won't do any damage or anything. But, uh, the main way it was intended was that multiple people would jump on the plate when one person would get half health, and then they'd regen their health, and then they'd be able to go in, like, the next cycle. Oh, yeah. See, already taking teamwork to get through this. Already. Yeah. Um... As you would see, the, the lamps under here will light up when the uh, uh, pressure plate is being pushed. There's actually a system that if you jump off the pressure plate, then it will cut off the signal to where it won't be able to activate what it's supposed to activate. Okay, now is this going to be dark in the regular uh, style? You'll be able to see those lights. I might make, uh, like, I might make it nighttime. Uh, I'm not too sure... Well, this is mainly like a gateway type thing, so it's not really... It's supposed to be going from the normal world into what I call the Realm of Darkness, which is what this is supposed to be. This was originally an idea I had before Bungie debunked the idea of the darkness being an entity. Okay. But I thought it was still an interesting idea, so I made it uh, type as like the final raid boss yeah. or whatever in here. Alright, that's cool. So what's supposed to happen is uh, when you do step on the pressure plate for so long, it's supposed to like kind of set out. In my image or in my head, it was like a beam of like light or whatever that would break the floor, 
but obviously I can't go as intricate and as cool as that, so I settled for just being able to place a uh, block that falls down. I actually used a glitch to make the floor like this, so um, I'll actually show you what happens when this raid is encountered, or when the thing is triggered. A block will fall down, up, and man? these blocks here will continuously fall under. The The key here is probably just to uh, jump into the water, which I actually forgot to put down. <laughs> oh wow, this is really awesome. I could tell you got this a little bit from Curtis in raid, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely had Crota's in going through my mind when I had this. They look cool uh, falling from there, actually, too. Yeah, it is a little slow, though, because they're not supposed to be staying up there like that. Uh, the floor is supposed to actually go down and uh, turn into concrete, because what happens is when this block touches water, it turns into the concrete version of itself, so it blends in with the rest of the raid. But I forgot to place down the water before prepping for the video, so... Oh, gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these night potions. These won't actually be in the raid when we're playing through, right? No. Uh, I want to make it like kind of like a dark theme, like pitch black, kind of thing like that. Right, right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get through this as fast as possible. We're not going to show you certain parts. Well, he doesn't want to show you certain parts in this raid. He wants to save that for when we actually play through it. So, yeah, yeah keep it as a surprise. Mm-hmm. So, um, when you, uh, you first come to this raid, you're going to go and see that this door is over here. Now, the way I'm going to have it set up is that when you see this block right here, which I forgot what it's called, but when you see it, it, uh, it means that you need some kind of uh, switch to activate the door or whatever. Which, nope, get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> what happens is if it's on the wall, you need a switch. If it's on the floor, you need a pressure plate. Okay. So right now we just need to find a switch somewhere. Yeah, so but the only other door is through here. Gotcha. The goal is to find the key to open that door. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through here and you step on the trip wire and it's supposed to, after a certain period of time, close that door right there and spawn a few enemies. I'm going to have it on peaceful so I'm not going to really spawn too many enemies in this room. Okay. And this isn't supposed to be open right here. Oh yeah. That's my apologies. Oh no. Let's go ahead and explain this part, though. So basically, when you come to this part, uh, you can have all six people walk in here, and there's going to be these two pressure plates and two tunnels. What you're going to do is you're going to have two people stand on each pressure plate. So, uh, Rage, if you'll go stand on that one over there. And, Rifle, if you take a look at the tunnel, um, you heard some pistons, but nothing actually went off. So when I actually step on this, then there will be a little path nice. that opens up through these tunnels. It's like this through both ways, and the way it works is that it's supposed to keep the two people over here and have them come up to the other side. I love this. Like so. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Died. That was close. Okay. Oh. As you can see. Oh, the oh no! What the? But yeah, that's cool. I get it. <laughs> so then once these two people step on this, that's how you get it crossed. But only two can yeah. come across, right? Yeah. All right. Two people from each tunnel, which is actually kind of a big problem because there's six pressure plates here to get through this door, but there's only four people. Oh crap! There's only four people in this area. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go retrieve the two people over there. So you're gonna have two more people sit on these pressure plates up here. Oh. And then you're gonna have two people come down here and go the other way to pick the other two guys up and rinse and repeat gotcha and that's that's where that trap door is open i love how you made it up. where it has to involve six people it's brilliant yeah it really makes it feel more like a raid this is what i'm saying by destiny raid style maps in minecraft guys if any of you build anything like this and it's as detailed and intricate like this i'll share it i don't mind this is really awesome but anyways, once we get six people over here, uh, let's show what happens with this door. Right now, he's switching it to wood. All right. Uh, this, this door... Because, you know, obviously yeah, we this... can't all stand on these We don't have six plates. people. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the door is a little bit uh, bugged out right now. I don't have it to where it goes all the way down. Right, uh, yeah, I remember. But... 
And you didn't want to show yeah. this part, did you? you? Want to skip past this part, right? No. Yeah. Okay, guys. He wants to skip past this puzzle part. He wants to save it for the actual gameplay video. Okay. Anyway, skipping to past this puzzle maze. will be the first, I guess you could call it boss encounter, in a way. It's, it's not really, it was originally supposed to have a boss, but I ended up just making it, um, well, if you actually look up, you see a giant crystal, and there's actually a little bit of lore behind in this room. So when you first start up the raid, you fall down a pit, and you enter the, the realm of darkness, is what I'm calling it. And basically, the realm of darkness is full of darkness, so you want to you don't want to keep any light inside of it. So what happens is any light that tries to enter this uh, this realm gets put into this room and trapped forever. So your job is to uh, try to restore light in back into this area to try to make yourself more powerful while also trying to uh, uh, go to the next encounter as well. And there is a checkpoint here. And you also can get a bow and arrow in this chest. Pretty sure he's gonna have it like that yeah and by the way guys some of you guys are wondering well what happens like how do you guys be titan hunter and warlock he has an idea with that too where you can be classes in this yeah i have a yeah like there are some items in uh minecraft that i can give off that will um kind of give off like a, a vibe that you can have something unique uh there Honestly, there's nothing I can do that'll prevent people from giving other people items, but I mean, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, I can't really control that. But, for instance, like, Titans, they'll have, uh, Golden Apples, or, um, Totem of Undying. So, it kind of, like, two subclasses right there based around that. They'll also have armor that has Protection 5 on it, just to, like, make them a tanky class to absorb damage and All stuff right. like that. Yeah, that's so cool. Let's go ahead and get this started. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and go to this chest. So, this is where it begins. Ooh, chest. I want to pick what's ever in the chest. Take the key. <laughs> and this is when it starts. And then turn around. Bam. Now, as you so, guys can see, I'll switch it to easy. That button over there is the goal. I want to try to hit that with the arrow. Pretty sweet. Yeah. I love how you made this. Oh, I'm missing. Yeah, this is probably it. one of the more simplistic. Yeah, this is probably one of the more simplistic uh, encounters. I don't really have. I mean, I like the idea with it though. I think you're not giving yourself enough credit. Well, it doesn't require six people, but six people make it easier because of all the ads. Oh yeah, on. definitely. Oh, and also, guys, he's uh, open to suggestions for other raids or possibilities. You know, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Yeah, um, he'll also, be he'll be reading the comments. Two, Don't deny it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you look at the the middle, the crystal that was there at, was actually destroyed. Uh, that's because when you press that button, it actually uh, right breaks the crystal. And yeah, stores some of the light. Kind of with the lore you were saying in the beginning there. Yeah, it kind of gives off a little bit of a tell. Like, uh, I think the yeah. The first and the third crystal, you can definitely see. I'm not too sure about the second, but the first and third crystal, it kind of has the TNT like give off like a little vibe that uh, says it's about to explode or detonate. Oh, okay. Obviously, we're just picking off all these mobs right now because we're in creative, but they'll be chasing us. They'll be um, doing a bunch of different damages and stuff like that, and make it a lot harder for people trying to do this. Oh yeah, can't wait to play this. This is just easy mode, just. Using potions. Yeah, right now we're just giving you a tease of it, guys. It's not finished whatsoever. I mean, it is finished for the most part, but he's going to add more detail and patch up a few things in here with it. Alright, so what just happened there is um, someone actually shot the final button. Yeah, I did. And what happens... Yeah, what happens is... This is kind of an idea that I had a little while back. I'm not too sure if there's an idea already like this with the current raids. But how it works is that you get backed up into a corner by a bunch of mobs that you can't really fend yourself against because the, they have so much health and there's so many of them. So you're backed into this corner. If you can actually um, take a look behind you, I, I did that manually, but 
it's supposed to be burning on fire. I'll probably make some more redstone to make it burn a little bit faster. Right. But, um... Yeah, so, the when that happens... Yeah. Sorry, what? No, I was just saying, uh, when you have to wait for it and try to wait for an opening. Yeah. Before you can, uh, get out. Yeah, it makes it feel intense. Like, you have to get out of this room. Yeah. So, when that mob first falls, this immediately starts burning. He also said that he might change this to black wool, so it goes more with the theme, instead of it being wood. Yeah, the wood kind of stands out a little bit. Yeah. But I like that idea. They, like, kind of back you up into this, yeah. where you're forced out of the room. You're like, where am I supposed to go now? And this just randomly starts burning. Like, oh, hurry yeah. up! Yeah, and I might make a few more dispensers and such to uh, burn it from different directions. Definitely. Make it uh, make it go a little bit faster. As of right now, it only starts burning from one block. Yeah, it, it went really uh, slow it's there. Really slow. All right, let's yeah, continue if, on. Yeah, if I didn't manually do it, then you want to skip past this right, part, or do you? Out. Okay, cut this. Yeah. Part? Okay. All right, so yeah. you heard him, guys. He doesn't want you guys to see this next part. So, so you're all right. You can go ahead and start again. Okay, so guys, we skipped a past a lot of the raid. They didn't want to spoil too much of this, and I didn't want this to be too lengthy. This is basically just a teaser of, you know, before we play it, and let you guys know what's about to come before Destiny 2. Once again, a special little treat. Yeah. Thanks to MacBones, and a few of his helpers as well. Okay. So give me one quick second, because I'm going to make sure that the wiring for this is okay, which just needs to take one more second. All right. All right I... So for this part right here, uh, you were saying something. Sorry. None. All right. So I really, I'm just gonna start this off. I really like this part right here. This is probably one of my favorite parts about the raid. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's another really cool part that I like, but this takes a lot of teamwork and also, I don't know. You guys will see. It's it's pretty awesome here. Which way you want to go first? You gotta. Oh, and also, so let's go the right way. Okay and. Yeah, okay, we're going to go the right way, so three players are supposed to go this way, and three other players are supposed to go the other way. Now, it doesn't technically have to go like that, but that's the way MacBones was wanting it to be, where the team has to split up to get things done faster. I'm just going to skip. There it goes. Yeah, I, I accidentally ran too fast past it, but yeah, as you can see, the lava starts flowing down while you're running through. And so it, it's supposed to make you feel like you're trapped. You have to go yeah. one or the other direction. Yeah, and this next part right here uh, is freaking... It's really cool. I mean, it's simple, but it's a good its a good idea. So, um, in this raid, there's no way for me to force a wipe. Since uh, there are, would be some encounters that if I did do a wipe, I'd have to spend 20 minutes resetting or have to leave and exit the game and then join back. So, I feel like that'd just be a stupid concept. So, I just gave beds and checkpoints and everything like that. So for this part, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump on these little slime pads here to give you a boost jump up here, which I just failed. <laughs> and then what's going to happen is, Rifle, will you demonstrate this for us? All right, all right. You're evil. So what he's doing is basically <laughs> making me sacrifice myself to press these buttons on the ground to get us out of here. <laughs> But thankfully, since I now slept in that bed, buttons. I'll spawn right outside. Yeah. You're welcome, uh, guys. Once these buttons are uh, pressed, <laughs> once these buttons are pressed, then uh, a wave of ads will spawn, and the lava will actually start flowing down. All right. So once you're in there, yeah, you're the sacrifice to get the people out. You're the hero. The yeah, hero. But yeah. uh, if you actually look behind you, some of the <laughs> lava is actually melting down. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Oh, so and I uh, forgot to mention this when yeah. we were running through. I don't know if you guys noticed the white slab that was on the ground. That was snow. So the lava melts through the snow and gets, you know, us our ticket out of here. <laughs> As you can see, this chest right here. It leaves us holds yeah, a the secret key. chest. And the same thing happens on the other side. Maybe you could be quick enough to grab it if you want to try to speed run it. Well, there'd be no way, there'd be no way for you to grab it because the snow would already be there. You're not allowed to break blocks when oh. doing this raid. So you're forced to use the lava to melt it. I should have, I should have already known that. Good point. 
Okay, because if we were able to, we'd be able to bust through these doors. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now once we got the keys, we can place them on there. And I'll go ahead and let you explain yeah. this next part. Yeah, so um, basically what happens is when you get both keys from uh, both the hallways, you're able to step on it and open the door to... This, this is technically the first boss fight. So if you would imagine the Echo of Oryx, and then you fight Oryx, that's basically what this is supposed to be. So this is the first form of the boss. Now here's what the second yeah. form looks like, guys. Freaking giants. But we're not going to show that <laughs> in this teaser. I mean, the actual mechanisms to defeat the boss. We're just going to show the mechanisms to defeat this boss instead, the first form. Yeah. This is the um, the last encounter that's actually complete. Hopefully you guys check out the actual uh, gameplay of us taking out the final boss. I'm sure Mac wants to show off his work. Oh yeah, I would I would love to be able to have a full fire team come in here. Like maybe like one fire team a week. It'd be awesome to come in here and do this. Yeah, so shoot. Or um, like that. Macbones here a message if you want to play on this world. I mean, obviously he built this to play on, so he's definitely open to people to play with. All right, so let's get started on this first boss. Uh, now he actually yeah. made this like you have to do certain things to take out the boss. It has like different waves you have to do. He tried to make it like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So basically what's going to happen is when you first walk into the room, you see this uh, random pressure plate here. And once again, it's wooden so that we can place stuff on it yeah. since we don't have six people. That would really um, be stunning. So what's going to happen... Yeah, so we place or shoot an arrow at it. <laughs> <laughs> and what it does is it, um, is it activates the pressure plate. And as you heard, there were some pistons that went off and there was a potion that shot out. So what happens What's is, up, Casper? Um, so before we got interrupted, my bad guys, now we're a little confused here. We were telling you guys about how a potion comes out when someone steps on this, what would be a stone slab, so someone would have to technically stand on this slab, not place an object or short, shoot an arrow at it. And once you get that potion, it makes you be able to jump higher. Yeah, that's not necessary for the first jump, but later on you'll actually need it. So this is actually opened up by when you step on the first plate. Yeah. And I'll just toss an object down here, and this is the second plate right here. It gives another potion. It'll automatically just uh, hit the person that's standing on it, so it won't fly out like you see it doing now. Yeah, and but, uh, um, this plate right here opens up another plate, as you can see. So it takes teamwork once again. One person has to be standing on this plate, and then another person would have to be standing on that plate, so on and so forth. Yeah. Go ahead. And um, all right, I'll stand on this. How plate. it works here? If Rage can right. get out of that, please. I'll put some on this plate. I just want to put the. Yeah. And. And then we. Where's yeah. okay? Here's the. We other have plate. person standing on each plate, and something you uh, you may have noticed is that it all opens up on the second block. So how it works is that if one person jumps off their plate, like they're not supposed to then someone else will start suffocating. Yeah, from the sand, because the sand will close on them. But once you do step on the seventh plate and everyone finally jumps out, then you actually see that the boss's chest actually opens up. And the chest contains three buttons that, uh, once again, like the last raid encounter, you have to shoot with your arrow. Yeah. So say like someone here decides to jump up here to do the attacking, that means the person on this plate would be suffocating. Now, if this guy, you know, got off his plate, then someone different would be suffocating. Yeah. And as you can see, once uh, you hit that yeah. boss three times, you do that three different times and shoot inside his uh, stomach three times, the portal opens up and sand starts to fall. As you can see, his eye in the background slowly going away. Basically, that means he's yeah. going into the portal for his final form. He's gone from yep. here. And if you actually look a little bit to your right, then you see uh, platforms building up. And that just comes from the roof and leading up to your way to the portal. Yep. We're not going to show off what's inside. That's for you to play on your own. And guys, but... you might have missed this, but here's another um, plate that you have to stand on. Very secretive. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah. 
it's like hanging off the ledge. So yeah, but yeah. So basically, you just step on these platforms over here. So that person and, down there uh, definitely isn't doing the attacking. More than likely. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend that. I mean, the person can come back up, but they're gonna be late on it. Yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and oh, do yeah, the you're gonna parkour you got the portal. for the final boss. Yeah, unless, unless you're horrible at parkour, you shouldn't have any trouble with doing that. Well, I'm horrible. Oh, no! You, <laughs> what'd you throw at me? Oh, what the heck? Night vision. <laughs> Alright, that was a complete fail. <laughs> I gotta do that again. I'm sorry. I gotta make this. No, you gotta show it off. You gotta show it off. That was too perfect. Yeah, I gotta show off. Horrible at parkour. I scared you with my night vision potion. I gotta show off my parkour <laughs> skills, alright? Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> sorry, there we go, I did it. Wait, oh yeah. Wait, rifle. How do we jump. dance on Minecraft? Wait. I'm just a kid. No, wait. no wait, rifle. Go go to the go to that last jump. What? Oh no! And then and <laughs> Alright, and then jump back over here. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a fail. And inside here give him, like, a potion of slowness will be the final boss, which <laughs> I'm not going to show you quite yet, but let's just say the mechanics are going to be insane to take it down. Hope you guys ended up enjoying yeah. this Destiny raid in Minecraft. I know it isn't like a replication of a raid in Minecraft. That would be pretty cool, but that would just be too time consuming, I feel like. I like this, and I hope yeah. I see more of this from other people and you too Mac hope you continue this as like a little series recreating like destiny raids in Minecraft you know mainly people that play Minecraft build houses yeah play it to build not actually play like this which takes teamwork and communication and also expands destiny community a little more to the Minecraft community which Minecraft is huge a lot of people hate on Minecraft yeah. but it's huge as a gaming community I and mean, it's one of those games if you don't know what it is you live under a rock right I just want to say you guys are heartless if you're hating on this. This is awesome. Deserves attention. A hundred dislikes the first second the video comes out. <laughs> Minecraft sucks. Why are you playing it, Raifu? You suck now. I hate you. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on Minecraft and show off these kind of worlds and actually play it if people build Destiny Raid style maps like this. I don't mind this. This is cool. I like how it takes thought process to get through the level. And that's why I def uh, I wanted to leave some stuff out. Yeah. Just because um, I didn't want to people... show off some of the things. Yeah, for people coming on the show and playing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Um, you got anything you want to say before I completely end it? Mac needs subs. In all fairness, I... I... It did take me a long time to do this, and I'm actually really proud of myself. It, it is a little bit simplistic, but uh, I'm still pretty happy that I've actually been able to have the dedication to do this, mostly by myself, with the help of some of my friends. Um, yeah, it's awesome, man. I, I would love to... Yeah, I would love to have people come and play this with me. Send him a message, guys. By the way, this isn't his gamertag. He's on this account because, well... You know, the account started on this gamer tag. His yeah. gamer tag is MacBones, but he plays on Scarcely. Yeah, so Scarcely Known or MacBones will always be in this lobby, but in my other raids, I won't have Scar or Scarcely Known yeah. always play because I'll have it so on my So send MacBones a message, not Scarcely Known. I mean, you can send Scarcely Known, but he's going to be building on MacBones in his new raids. Just this one's on Scarcely's account yeah all right yeah cool thanks for letting me show this off and i'm excited to play it with you mac when it's actually officially done it's going to be a nice treat for yeah, no you know, my community my followers before destiny 2 i feel oh definitely all right thanks for watching everybody i feel like people would love leave a like idea. um if you enjoyed the map and you want to you know see more of this on my channel it'd be greatly appreciated Till next time peace